Do you consistently feel dizzy or sleepy all day? Or feel out of breath after light physical work? Maybe you notice your hands and feet are always cold, and your skin is slightly pale or yellow looking. If you answered yes to any of the above questions, then there's a fair chance that you could be running low on hemoglobin. Running low on hemoglobin usually means that you might have a condition called anemia. Now you must be wondering, what is it? Today we'll explore precisely what it is, how you can increase your hemoglobin, and some easy, quick fix, fast hacks to sail through hemoglobin deficiency. Keep watching till the end, and we'll answer all your questions. Welcome back viewers, I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to the Health Concern channel, before we begin, kindly use some time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. First up, what do we mean by hemoglobin deficiency? Hemoglobin is a protein in your red blood cells that is donned with the responsibility to supply oxygen throughout your body and transport the carbon dioxide back to your lungs. If hemoglobin declines below the normal requisite levels, which are approximately 13 to 18 g dl in men and 12 to 15 g dl in women, then the person is said to be anemic. Or, to put it another way, anemia is a condition wherein there is a decrease in the production of red blood cells. Anemia is a fairly common disease that affects up to one-third of people across the globe. Most cases of anemia are incredibly mild and do not require much monitoring, except for the ones when anemia starts meddling with your regular lifestyle and acts as a roadblock to your daily activities. But why does hemoglobin deficiency occur? And what are the reasons behind it? Hemoglobin deficiency occurs when your body doesn't get adequate nutrition through your diet. So when you fall short of consuming enough iron, folates, and vitamin B12, you also fall short on hemoglobin levels. Hemoglobin deficiency becomes common as you age. One third of older adults have anemia due to nutritional deficiency. Also, it is much more prevalent in women of childbearing age because of the periodic menstrual cycles and poor iron intake. Pregnancy also increases hemoglobin deficiency. Studies show that around 10% of women of reproductive age in the United States have anemia. Besides age and sex, race and ethnicity are crucial determinants of anemia. According to studies, the prevalence of anemia is much higher in the African-American population than in other ethnic groups. Intestinal disorders, chronic conditions like cancer, kidney failure, HIV, AIDS, blood diseases, and regular blood loss due to an ulcer can deplete the body's iron reserves quite fast and push it an edge forward to developing a hemoglobin deficiency. Frequent exposure to toxic substances like drugs and alcohol also contributes a fair share of using up our body's iron reserves. And yes, family history, too, can be blamed for a hemoglobin deficiency. If your family history boasts of a long lineage of anemic disorders, then it is more likely that you will be an undisputed heir of the anemic misfortunes. Well, you might think, anemia seems to be a regular condition, I should probably just let it be. Let us burst this bubble of yours. Anemia is not as humble as it seems. If it is left untreated for a long time, it can have serious repercussions. What complications does it lead to? Potentially severe complications like heart attack, heart failure, peripheral nerve damage, a weakened immune system, depression, pregnancy complications like premature birth, and multi-organ failure culminating in death can be blamed on a prolonged hemoglobin deficiency. On average, 1% of red blood cells get removed from circulation daily. Suppose the body cannot make up for the lost red blood cells. In that case, it is also unable to maintain a regular oxygen supply to every part of the body, which is precisely why all these complications become severe. So to maintain a balance, our body must ensure enough red blood cells to carry out the necessary functions. And this can only be facilitated by having a diet rich in iron, folic acid, vitamin B12, and vitamin C. So to save yourself from falling into the vicious cycle of diseases and their severe complications, it is crucial to have a nutrient-rich diet. Now you must wonder what ingredients and food can shoot up your hemoglobin levels the fastest way possible. Well, we have simplified that for you. So let us hop on to our next segment, where we will discuss drinks that will boost your hemoglobin levels in 7 days. Some magic drinks that shoot up your hemoglobin are Beetroot juice, docked up with the richness of iron, folates, 
and vitamin C, beetroot works exceptionally well to promote red blood cell growth. Studies have also shown that beetroot shows anti-anemic solid potential. You can blend it with a juice or smoothie, add a pinch of rock salt and some mint leaves to add flavor, and consume it to boost your hemoglobin levels. Since it contains natural sugars, ensure you do not add preservatives. But yes, you can add carrots to your smoothie if you like. Carrot goes best with beetroot juice. Green juice slash spinach smoothie. Drinks that contain green veggies are always brimming with loads of nutrients. They are good sources of protein, fiber, minerals, and other nutrients. Likewise, spinach which is one of is a rich source of significant micronutrients such as iron, manganese, and zinc and also contains vitamins A, E, C, and K, folate, thiamine, B1, pyridoxine, B6, and riboflavin, B2. Raspberries always act as a versatile option for tasty recipes. And owing to their high iron content of 0.7 mg per 100 g, they can also act as a perfect fit for our spinach smoothie. You can also add cashew butter to give your smoothie a creamy texture. This drink is not only beneficial in raising hemoglobin levels but is also known to work magic in diabetes, cardiovascular problems, and other chronic disorders. So immediately grab a glass filled with a spinach raspberry smoothie and keep all your problems at bay. Pea protein shakes, unlike whey, pea protein powder is a rich source of iron. And guess what? It is pretty versatile too. You can experiment with it as much as you like. Put it alongside any iron-rich food option, make a smoothie blend, and enjoy the delicacy. Consider using it in a recipe that combines bananas, coconut milk, and peanut butter. Pea protein powder will act as a perfect fit. It would boost the iron content of the smoothie and aid in providing a rich supply of fiber, potassium, and vitamin C. Flax seed smoothie 100 g of flax seeds contain 0.5 mg of vitamin C and over 100 mg of folic acid. They also have appreciable amounts of phosphorus, zinc, and vitamin B complex. With the power to enhance the taste and texture of any recipe, flax seeds have proved to be an excellent choice for healthy recipes time and again. So to give a relishing experience to your taste buds, add flax seeds to a blender, pour some milk and a few drops of honey, blend it and drink it fresh. Flax seeds have enormous health benefits. Not only do they help in increasing your hemoglobin, but they also strengthen your immune system, thus giving you an extra boost to your body's fighting spirit. Almond smoothie. If you are somebody who just forgets to eat dry fruits and their stocks remain in used for a long time, then this is your cue to use them now. Blend it up in an appealing smoothie and savor its taste. This would help you increase your red blood cell count because every 100 g of almond contains around 4 mg of iron, making it a perfect candidate for this job. Mulberry smoothie, known for its rich iron and vitamin C, mulberries are a perfect option when you desperately want to shoot up your hemoglobin. Approximately 1 g of mulberries contain 1.5 mg of vitamin C. Vitamin C helps in the absorption of all the nutrients in the body. So high vitamin C would mean higher iron absorption in the body and more hemoglobin production. So if you want to give some morning motivation to your body for hemoglobin production, start your day with a mulberry smoothie. And since we cannot bear monotony in our food consumption, how about some tasty experimentation? Combine your mulberry smoothie with milk, oats, banana, and chia seeds. Blend. 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 And there you are, ready to bid a goodbye to dizziness and welcome the day with boosted hemoglobin. All these drinks are magic when it comes to increasing hemoglobin quickly. So bottoms up. Savor these freshly made delicacies. Try making these drinks at home and reap the most out of their health benefits. And if drinks aren't enough to reach your goals, you can always opt for iron supplements. They are harmless and make up for the nutrient deficiency in no time. Try this mega food blood builder, iron supplement. It is well endowed with iron, vitamin B12, and folic acid and tremendously boosts your hemoglobin levels. And guess what? It shows an increase in iron levels without any symptoms of nausea or constipation, making it a perfect choice for your everyday supplement needs. Go ahead, try it and increase your red blood cells at a staggering rate. And if you really want to get an extra boost to your hemoglobin, then add exercise to your morning smoothie routine. 
Yeah, you heard that right. When you exercise, your body produces more hemoglobin to make up for the raised demand for oxygen. So get yourselves moving and go for a run. What drinks from our list are you going to try? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more content like this one, bye for now.